Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna create beautiful scraps out of plain scraps. This is a great way to use up scrap paper you have from old projects or just um, your chance to get out your frustration by creating scraps, by ripping up paper that you have throughout your craft room, adding it to a large box. Mixing it all around, you can add book pages, music sheets, notebook paper, graph paper, tissue paper, vellum, cardboard packaging. Um, I have file folders in there, brown paper bags, construction paper, anything. Add it all to a big box. Get out every ink spray that you have in your craft room put on your gloves and go to town spraying and um, sloshing paint around. I'm first using oxide sprays to get a vintage look to my pages. I really don't need to freeze frame every single paint. Um, it's just, I actually, as you'll see, um, as the video goes along, you'll see that um, I start with vintage colors and then I go in and I uh, add my bright colors. I kind of like a, a, a vintage neon. I like vintage and neon together. So um, as you go, you'll see that this is obviously a process. This took quite a while. I had a little bit too much paper in the box. So if you do this, just keep that in mind. I mean, you may want to make a lot. And I this made a ton. The box was just probably five inches deep with paper. Um, and you have to make sure that you get down to the very bottom of the box because some paper that lies flat on the bottom will kind of adhere there and you'll see during part of this video that I am able to scoop it up and bring it up to the top and get color on it. Now I'm going in with India inks and I'm just adding some of my favorite colors which um, are neon, pink, and turquoise. That's a high flow golden paint. That's an India ink. And you just keep mixing and pulling up from the bottom, trying to bring up white pages and get color on everything. Try to pull from the corners and stir well. Now I pull out my Delusions inks. These are the second set of inks that I got um, when I first started using ink sprays. I haven't used them in years. They are very old. Um, and then you'll see I pull out um, the Tattered Rose inks, which are super, super old. And I was hoping to use them all up in this project because they sit off to the side in a little container. And they bug me because there's only a very small amount in most of them. So I do uh, end up using one bottle in full, but I plan on doing this again and using up the rest because I just want to get rid of them. There's so little of each ink left in each bottle. So this is a great way to use up things that are taking up space in your craft room. See all the uh, bottom pages that came up in a bunch? I had to laugh at one point. I was stirring and stirring and stirring and ripping and stirring. <laughs> And I looked down and there was a piece of comic strip with Garfield and the title above his head was Think Outside the Box. <laughs> I thought that was very ironic. Very, very funny. 
Uh, speaking of Garfield, you'll hear my cat later in the video. She was very vocal as I was doing this. Sometimes she um, gets lonely, I think, and she um, wants me to pay attention to her. Um, that was my, um, these are the um, Dina Wakely high gloss sprays. And this is where I kind of got into a little uh, bit of trouble. I actually had a new dress on, a uh, new to me dress. And um, even though it was a thrifted piece, I loved it. There are the tattered rose inks that I want to get rid of. They are just floating around, taking up space. These have a metallic sheen to them a little bit of glitter. So that was cool. But I did get the Dina Wakely turquoise. I got a little bit of a, a splash up on my dress. So I had to, I had to um, get that in the wash right away and treated and it did come out. So I was happy about that. But just if you're going to do this, I would recommend not wearing something that you like just wear some old t-shirt or something. And you just keep going and going and until you like what you see. Um, I did I did this process for quite a while. I, I don't know exactly how long. It seemed like forever um, it took to get color on these things. And then um, when I was all done, I did take them out. And it was a very hot, sunny day yesterday. And so I put them out and I tilted the box just so the sun could kind of shine in there. And then ever so often I went outside and I would move them around with my gloves on. Okay, so I'm back. It's the next day. Everything is dry. We have all this yumminess in a box. I like a, a combination of vintage and neon colors and bright colors. Kind of like Grand Millennial. <laughs> I mean, even the box is cool. I mean, that just, that takes me back to the 90s. The inside of the box on me. You can do too much in a box. This is way too much paper. And um, a lot of them did not get enough color. They are going to have to go back in and get another bath of color. Um, I did want to show you, though, that some pieces come out much cooler than others. And um, a little tip would be to scrunch them when they're wet. That way they dry and they stick to each other and you end up with almost a cluster. I mean, this is really cool. Look at that. You can staple that right on a tag. These, um, there's, this is really cool. I mean, these could just be focal points on a tag, and there's your whole tag. I will leave these the way they are. I won't unfold them. I'll keep them the way they have dried. But some of these are just really cool. I 
one's a little white for me, so I'll put that back in. Back in the bath that goes. This is a doily. That turned out cool. I thought this was really cool. This is one big old cluster that just is all bunched up and stuck together. These little pieces are cool. I mean, look at that. That's just so neat. That's part of a doily as well. Okay, guys, so here are some clusters that I put together. Um, I thought that these were some of the prettiest ones that I ended up with. So in order to showcase them, I just stuck the cluster or clusters onto a tag and stapled it. Um, sometimes you can hide the staple if the um, paper is bunched up enough. If you don't like this staple in the middle, like on this one, it was pretty straight, so I had nowhere to really hide the staple. You could put something over the middle of this, kind of like, we'll just use this as an example. Let's see, what do we got? Hold on. If you don't like the staple, put something over it. Cute, huh? You could just put a little sentiment and, you know, send that off. It's very cute. My cat is very vocal. <laughs> she, she wants water. I'll be right back. No, you can't go in there. Daddy said no. No, Daddy said no. All right. Um. Okay, so you can put those on tags like that. Isn't that cute? Ugh. You guys, you got to do this. This is a really good way to get out frustration. I was just ripping and tearing. I had some scraps already, but I created my own by ripping up some papers that I have stacked on the side of my desk. And, um, you know, in order to get rid of that stuff and create something new out of it, this was the perfect project. I mean, we could do, we could do something like that. I mean, look at, look at that. Wow, just kind of tuck that in there, almost like hiding like a planet. That reminds me of like a planet. That's great. I love that. All right, you guys, I highly recommend that you give this a try. Um, again, I'll link the other artists below. There you go. All right, guys, have a great day. Until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.